Lesson 1, Reading 2. What makes a substance a special kind of substance? Getting ready. People describe objects and people all the time in order to tell them apart. You tell two people apart by saying, the short one, not the tall one. When you have to decide between two pieces of cake, you might choose to eat the large piece instead of the small piece. When scientists need to tell substances apart, they describe the properties of the substances. Embedded text dependent question. You may remember words like substances and properties from previous science classes. In the following space, list the types of properties you have studied in science. How can I use properties in science class and at home? Properties are important because they can help you determine how new stuff can be used and how new stuff is better than the stuff people used in the past. Previously, you read about scientists creating materials like nylon. By testing and comparing properties of new and old materials like nylon and animal hair, scientists could keep trying to make the perfect toothbrush. The bristles bend just right and do not break. If scientists did not study properties of materials, then they would not know that nylon could be used for toothbrush bristles. If scientists did not compare the nylon with hair, no one would know that nylon is better than hair for brushing teeth. In class, you will focus on properties because identifying properties of substances helps you answer questions such as, how do nylon and animal hair compare? Properties can also be important outside of science class. For example, imagine that someone wanted to sell you a very expensive ring with a shiny stone in it that looked like a diamond. Embed it text dependent question. How would you know whether the stone was a real diamond or a fake diamond? Some stones that look like diamond are not real diamond. Cubic zirconium is one kind of artificial fake diamond. Cubic zirconium is a fake because it looks like a diamond, but it is made of different atoms in diamond. Diamond is a substance. It is made only of carbon atoms. Those atoms are arranged in a specific way that makes diamond. Cubic zirconium is also a, su a substance. It is made of zirconium atoms and oxygen atoms, ZrO2. They are arranged in a specific way that makes cubic zirconium. Cubic zirconium and diamond are different substances because they are made of different atoms. Both diamond and cubic zirconium are clear and sparkling. To most people, they look the same. However, diamonds from mines in Africa or India are more valuable and more expensive than cubic zirconium, which can be made in a laboratory. If you knew the properties of diamond and cubic zirconium and the properties of the stone in a ring, you would be able to tell whether it was diamond or cubic zirconium. You would be sure to pay the right amount of money for your ring. Are there ways to describe a substance that are not properties? When scientists talk about substances and their properties, they are talking about what an object is made of, not what it is used for. A block of gold, a gold necklace, and a gold ring could all be made of the same, same substance, pure gold, even though all three objects are used differently. A property of a substance stays the same no matter how the substance is used. If you use pure gold to make a ring, a necklace, a bracelet, or earrings, the gold that these objects are made of is still the same substance. It will always have the same properties. How gold is used is not a property of gold as a substance. There are other ways of describing objects that are not properties of the substance they are made of. Embedded text dependent question. What are some other ways you could describe a gold ring that are not properties of gold? Is gold always a substance? Most people know the substance gold because it is made into jewelry. Do you know someone who wears a gold ring, a necklace, or earrings? Maybe you own gold jewelry. Jewelry that people call gold jewelry sometimes has other substances mixed in too. Gold is a substance made only of gold atoms. 
It is one type of matter all the way through. Gold is also called 24 karat gold, which can be written this way, 24K. Most jewelry that looks gold to your eye, however, is not made of 24K gold. Gold is a soft metal, which means that it can bend easily. Jewelers have to mix gold with other metals like silver and copper to make jewelry harder so it does not bend. They can mix it in different amounts of they can mix in different amounts of silver or copper. Depending on how much other metal is mixed in, jewelry could be labeled 18 karat, 18k, 14 karat, 14k, or 10 karat, 10k gold. The original gold was a substance. It was made of gold particles and nothing else. If silver or copper is added to it, the material becomes a mixture instead of a substance. Neither 18 karat nor 14 karat is just one type of matter all the way through. Both 18K and 14K gold are gold plus other metals. Most of the stuff in the world is 18K or 14K gold jewelry. Most of the stuff in the world is a mixture of materials and not a substance. Sometimes the way people talk about things gets everybody confused. People say gold jewelry whether they are talking about 24K, 18K, 14K, or 10K gold. All of them look the same color, which is also called gold. Now that you know that only 24K gold is gold atoms all the way through. Only 24K gold is a substance. Everything else that people call gold is really a mixture. Everything else is made of gold atoms plus other atoms like silver or copper. Scientists can classify all materials as either a substance or a mixture. Chalk has three different types of atoms, but chalk is also a pure substance. Embedded text-dependent question. How can something with different atoms be a pure substance and not a mixture? What does it mean to be made of one type of matter all the way through? A pure substance is made of only one type of matter all the way through. The matter can be billions of atoms of one type like gold. Even a very tiny piece of gold is made of billions of gold atoms all the way through. Or the matter can be billions of groups of different atoms connected in a specific way. Chalk is made of groups of calcium, carbon, and oxygen atoms connected in a specific way. Chalk is made of billions of those groups, but each group is arranged the same way. When something is made of one type of matter all the way through, you can take any piece of the substance and it will be exactly the same as any other piece of the same substance. In class, you illustrated this with chalk. Whether your teacher broke off a small piece or a large one, the pieces were made of chalk all the way through. If you were in Mexico or in Japan, Chalk would be the same because it is a substance. What makes something a mixture? It may help you think about the difference between pure substances and mixtures if you think about what you already know about mixing. You can mix milk with chocolate powder or chocolate syrup to make chocolate milk or to make hot cocoa. Chocolate milk is a mixture. You mix different materials together to get chocolate milk. Sand is also a mixture. Sand can be made of different kinds of rock, in different sized pieces, and in different amounts mixed together. Sand and chocolate milk have something in common that makes them both mixtures. A mixture is made of more than one type of substance, and the combination of the substances can be different. How are substances and mixtures different? A substance always has the same composition. That means it is always composed of or made of the same thing. A mixture does not always have the same composition. A mixture can be made of different amounts of each substance. Think about chocolate milk or cocoa. Chocolate milk may be made of milk and powder, milk and syrup, or milk plus cocoa and sugar. The ingredients in two different packages of chocolate powder or two different kinds of syrup might be different so the chocolate milk you make will be different. In fact, chocolate milk is always made of more than one substance. Chocolate milk is a mixture.
If you like your milk really chocolatey, you can add a lot of powder or syrup, but someone else might choose to add only a little. The composition of chocolate milk can change with different amounts of chocolate and different amounts of milk. Chocolate milk is made of different materials that can be in different amounts every time you make it. Sand and chocolate milk are mixtures because each one is made of different types of materials that can be in different amounts. Sometimes something looks like a pure substance, but it is a mixture. Looking at a sample of a material might help you know that something is a mixture, but you cannot always tell by looking whether something is a substance. You can tell that sand is a mixture, but you cannot tell whether a gold ring is made of a substance, 24K gold, or a mixture, 18K, 14K, or 10K gold. Embedded text dependent question. Look at the label on a product that your family buys. You can use either a food label or a product made for cleaning. Find the place where the package describes the ingredient or ingredients. Write four details. One, name of the product. Two, what, what the product is used for. Three, whether the product is a substance or a mixture. And four, the reason for your answer. Your reason should describe how the product fits the definition of substance or mixture.